It's literally one of those weeks where I just need gallons of coffee to keep me going. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be talking about the new ColourPop Jelly Much eyeshadows. Full name, Angelica Much. I mean, like, they totally gave this thing its own personality, which is really funny. I'm so freaking excited, you guys. I haven't even swatched these. I haven't even touched these. These retail for $8 each, and there is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight different shades as of now. I'm pretty sure they'll come out with more because these look like they're a lot of fun. I'm gonna read a little bit about these just so I get a better understanding as well. Our newest high impact one swipe intensity long wear shadow. She's a super shock shadow's little sister that wants all the attention. That's really cute. Packed with light reflecting 3D pearls for an intensely saturated look with chrome, duochrome, and holographic finishes. Get the look of a wet shadow application without bringing out the brush and spray. This water-based formula saturates, saturates, <laughs> saturates the pigment for immediate intense color on application. How to wear the most high-impact pigmentation, apply with your finger. For more precise application, use a small shader brush. It blends effortlessly either way. Super Shock Shadows are one of my absolute favorite things from ColourPop. They're amazing, so easy to use. One of my favorite formulas are the Ultra Glitters. It's kind of just like a sparkle without too much color. And I love popping that on my lids for like that wet glittery look. I just, I'm obsessed with those. So these, I am so hyped for these. Like I mentioned, there's eight different shades. I'm not gonna wear all eight on my eyes. I'm gonna try to do at least like two or three, we'll see. But I will swatch everything on my arms so you guys can see the shades. I do, however, wanna wear one of them as a highlighter because first of all, we are lacking the glow. And second of all, I think I saw them use it as a highlighter and it looked really, really pretty. So I'm gonna use a shade We Jammin'. It's this beautiful, like, light gold shade. This is really, really pretty. I think I'm gonna use my finger to apply it. We're also gonna experiment for the first time touching this because I have not yet. Um, it has a little stopper in here. Ooh, it says keep me. So you wanna make sure to put this back when you're done. Oh my goodness. Oh, I'm so excited. I'm gonna take what's on the cap first. Oh. Okay, wow, first of all. It's gonna sound super weird, but it kind of just feels like a whipped cream cheese consistency. <laughs> um, it feels really, really good, very creamy, very smooth. Oh my god, that looks crazy, like crazy pigmented on my finger. I'm very excited to just pop this on my cheek. I zoomed you guys in a little bit to get a better look, so I'm gonna take what's on my finger and I'm going to gently... Oh wow, that is... Oh my goodness. <laughs> Oh, wow, that is beautiful, but I put way too much. So I'm taking like a clean finger and just blending this out. It doesn't dry down super fast, but I can tell you need to work a little quickly, at least on the face. Oh my God, that, that's intense. Holy moly. I'm just taking a clean, dry sponge and just gently pressing that into my skin just to kind of dim it down a little bit this is super pretty i definitely put a little bit too much on but it's okay we're playing with makeup today i think it just looks really nice on the skin i know they're eyeshadows but if you wanted to wear it as a highlighter i don't see why not it definitely dries down so you're not gonna have like a tackiness on your cheek for a long time and the color is really pretty it didn't do anything weird to like my foundation or the powders i'm wearing it looks very seamless very very blinding I like it. I'm gonna do the other side with the actual sponge. Dang, a little goes a long way. Holy moly. <laughs> Definitely went a little crazy with the highlighter. I dimmed it down on both sides and it looks so, so pretty. You definitely do not need a lot of this if you're gonna wear it as a highlighter, even as an eyeshadow, like start start small. Whatever I had on the back of my hand, it definitely dried down. Um, it doesn't feel like a cream highlighter, which is great. A lot of cream highlighters kind of like have your skin feeling tacky throughout the whole day. It doesn't like necessarily dry down. These dry down, like they're not gonna go anywhere. They don't feel wet on my skin, so yeah. I really like it. I would definitely wear this as a highlighter again. It didn't do anything weird with my makeup. I don't really use a lot of cream products on my face on top of like powder and like full coverage foundation because of that reason. But this, this I'm feeling a lot. Now we're gonna move on to the eyes. I have absolutely no idea which shades I wanna put on my eyes. Like these are all so pretty. So on my eyes, I already have kind of like a soft matte brown in my crease. I'm using the Jouer Rose Gold Palette. It's just a mixture of these two brown shades. I just wanted something in my crease on my eye. One of the shades that's really speaking to me is called Once and Floral. Once and Floral. 
Get it? Oh my god, this color is so freaking beautiful. It's like this coppery shade with that pink duochrome in there. I, I don't know, I'm really drawn to this, so I think I want to start with this. We'll see where this goes. I have a really tiny amount on my finger, and I'm just going to gently tap this on my lid. I've definitely learned little goes a long way. Oh wow, this is freaking gorgeous. Dang, this looks so beautiful. I'm freaking obsessed with this. It's so fiery and you have that pink duochrome. It looks so smooth on the eye. Sometimes when you put like cream shadows on, you can definitely tell that it looks heavy on the eye or it accentuates like your lines on your eye. This has such a thin formula, but it's so heavily pigmented that it just looks smooth. Like it's beautiful. Like I, I, wow, <laughs> I'm a little speechless. Like this is actually super cool. It definitely dried it down, like this isn't going to go anywhere. It has a tiniest bit of transfer when you touch it, but you're not going to be touching your eye as the day goes on. Um, just like a super shock shadow, if you put it on and touch it, you're still going to get like transfer. That doesn't really bother me. The true test is like how it wears, see if it creases or anything like that. But I don't foresee it creasing because it definitely feels super like dry and on my eyelid. Wow, this color is so pretty. Like, you don't even need much. Throw on some mascara and call it a day. Now I'm going to take the shade Ventura, which is another duochrome. It's a pearly shade with a blue shift to it. I don't know if you guys can see. That looks so pretty. I'm going to use this with a brush, and I'm going to pop this on the inner corners of my eyes just to kind of see, like, how this applies with a brush. So we're just going to... Oh... A little bit too much again. This is a beautiful shade as well. It's very electric. You definitely see that violet blue duochrome pop out. Oh my God. This just screams mermaid to me. This is so freaking pretty. This is the color bungalow and I'm gonna take this shade and pop it on my lower lash line. Again, I'm gonna use a brush just so I get like more precise. Taking a really small amount once again and then I can take my finger and just smudge it a little bit and then take my brush with the product again and just kind of like build it up as you can tell i'm trying to use as many of these shadows as i possibly can the last technique i'm going to try on my eye is wearing it as a wing with an angled brush this is the shade origami i feel like this gold will really really pop again i don't know how this is going to go if it's going to work at all but i have no doubts we're going to go for it i'm going to dip my brush right into like the little cap of the shadow And there we have our wing. I had no doubt it would work. I think it looks really, really cool. It was very easy to use. They're very creamy, but they do dry down. They don't like stay as a cream on your eyes, so you can guarantee your wing is gonna just stay on your face. Now I'm gonna go ahead and finish the other eye. demo using the jelly mud shadows I definitely wanted to show you guys different ways and techniques to use them not just as a lid color but there's a lot you can do you can smudge it onto your lower lash line where does the metallic wing where does the highlighter even or you can like layer them to get different dimensions and colors because I feel like these duochromes will look so pretty on top of like each other the possibilities are endless and I really really love them so easy to work with the formula is like super cool and I think one of the best parts is you don't have any fallout when you use them you get absolutely no fallout on your face but yeah like I really like this I can't wait to play with these more experiment with them more there's a couple shades I didn't get to use for eight bucks I think it's really cool and honestly you're not gonna finish these like in your lifetime you need the tiniest amount and these little jars will last you forever so I highly recommend these I think they're really really fun and they definitely have a lot of color payoff I honestly don't know what to expect before I tried these but I'm very pleasantly surprised and very very happy and of course we can't forget the arm swatches I'm gonna do like two styles of arm swatches I'm gonna do a one swipe pigment so you guys can see the color and I'm also gonna do the same shade on the bottom and kind of like blend it out just so you guys can see the consistency how it blends out and all that jazz so I'm gonna do like two swatches of each shade let's get into it
So that is everything you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it helpful. Let me know what you guys' thoughts are on these products. I know these have been out for a little bit, so I'm pretty sure some of you guys have already got your hands on them. So I'd like to know your guys' thoughts. Also, don't forget to follow me on Twitter, Messy Jessie Beauty, Snapchat, Jessie Jen, and Instagram, Makeup by Jessie. If you have not already, subscribe to my channel. Please do so before you go. I'd appreciate it so, so much. And also hit that little notification bell so you're notified every time I post a new video. With all of that said, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys!